Hi, and welcome to the first tutorial in the Make the Cut Projects tutorial series. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a card base that has a scalloped edge and a little opening where you can put the word or phrase of your choice. So to start with, I'm just going to create the basic card shape. So first what I need to do is go to Custom Shapes and Import Basic Shape. And I'm just going to pull in a rectangle. So I'll double click on that and then click on the X to close. And now I need to drag this out to the size of my card. So I'm going to make a standard um, 8.5 by 11 cut in half card. So what I'm going to do is just drag this out. So this is going to be 5.5 inches wide and I want it to be 8.5 inches long. Okay, so that's the size that my card is going to be. Next thing I'm going to do is add the little scalloped edge. So again, I'm going to come into Import Basic Shape, and this time I'm going to use a circle. Now, depending on if this card is for a male or a female, you might want to use a triangle or something like that to give your scallop a little bit different shape. But I'm going to use a circle because I want a nice rounded scallop. So I'm just going to select my circle and I'm going to move it away from the card here for a minute. Get back to my resizing arrows. And I'm going to make this circle a little bit smaller so that it's a bit more in line with the size that I want my scallop to be. And I'm going to move it down here so that it's right by the edge of my card. And now I'm going to right click on it and select Duplicate. And what this will let me do is choose the number of times that I want the circle to be duplicated. So I'm going to select 12, and that's a little bit wider than I need. I'm going to drop it down to 10, and it's still a little bit wide, but that's okay because I can make the whole thing a bit smaller. And I'm going to leave the spacing at 0 uh, because I want the circles to be right next to each other. I'll just quickly show you what would happen if I had an actual spacing measurement in there. I'm going to enter in point 0.1 and you can see that the circles start to spread themselves out a little bit. So I'll change that back to 0 and click on OK. And now I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so that I can see a bit more clearly what I'm working with. Move this over a bit. Now what I need to do is resize this whole row of circles so that it's the same width as my card. So I'm going to grab the corner arrow here and you can tell that this is going to resize because I've got these straight edge arrows. Just grab that and I'm going to move that right in so that it lines up with the edge of the card. And now I'm going to grab the whole thing and I'm just going to slide it up. So right now the circles should be right on top of your card. Now I can see over on the left here my circles are just a little bit off of the edge. So I'm just going to slide that over, make sure that it's right lined up with the edge, and then on the right here I'll drag it out a little bit so that my per circles are perfectly matched to the edge of my card. Okay, so now I've got the row of circles on top of my card. Now because I want my finished card size to be this 8.5, what I need to do now is reduce the size of my card. So I'm going to click on the rectangle, the card, make sure that I've got those resizing arrows showing, and I'm just going to grab this and slide it up so I'm actually making the card base a little bit smaller. And I'm going to bring it up so that it's pretty much right in the center of the circles. You can see that red line there is lined up with the center marks on the circles. And now what I need to do is select the card base and the circles and weld them together. So I've got the card base selected. Now I'm just holding down the shift key and selecting each of the circles. Now everything is selected and I'm just going to come down here to the bottom and click on weld. And now you can see I've got a card base with a scalloped edge, and it was that simple. The next thing that I'm going to do is create the opening that my word or phrase is going to go in. So again, I'll come back up to Import Basic Shape, and I'm going to import a rectangle again, so I'll double click and click on the X. Now I'm just going to zoom back out so I can see where that rectangle landed, and there it is way up there in the corner. So I'm going to bring it down here and I'm going to put it right on top of my card so I can see exactly what size I'm working with. 
Now this rectangle you can really customize to be whatever size you want depending on the word or phrase that you're going to be using. I'm just going to be using one word. I'm going to put the word grandma in here. So once I get it about the size that I want, now I want to actually center it on the card. So I could kind of eyeball it, uh, but that's not going to quite line it up exactly. So what I'm going to do is select both the rectangle and the card base. So I'm just going to hold down shift, click on the card base. Then I'm going to right click and I'm going to come down to align and space, over to align and select center. And now you should see that the rectangle is exactly lined up in the center of the card. Now what I'm going to do is cut that shape right out of the card. So I'm going to select the card base, hold down my shift and select the rectangle. And you can see the red line around them so they're both selected. And I'm going to come down here to join and click on that. And what that's going to do is actually cut the rectangle out of the card. So now you can see I've got the card with a scalloped edge and a little hole. So I'm going to click off of that shape to deselect it. Now I'm ready to add my text. So I'm going to come up to text and fonts and in the drop down list here I'm just going to select the text that I want or the font that I want to use and the one that I'm going to use is this one right here and I'm not even going to try to pronounce that but I know that it works really well for this technique. And now I'm going to click on add a group of characters and my dialog box pops up. type in the word grandma and click on add and that adds it onto my mat and you can see it up in the top there so I'm just going to grab it and drag it down. Now the next thing I need to do is resize this so that it fits inside that box. So before I do that I'm just going to zoom in again so it's a little bit easier to see what I'm working on. And now I'm going to position this roughly where I want it and I can pick it up and move it with my mouse or to do the fine one pixel at a time movements I can actually use the arrow keys on my keyboard. Now you can see that this is still a little bit too big so I'm just going to resize it by squishing it up a little bit and I want to make sure that there's a little bit of overlap of the letters onto the card and I'm going to bring this in so at the top and the bottom I'm overlapping the letters a little bit and I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so you can see that a bit more clearly. So you can see the top and the bottom of the letters is actually going over the edge of the box on the card. And now what I'm going to do is weld all of that together. So I'm going to click on my word grandma, hold down shift, click on the card so everything is selected and now I'm going to click on the weld button. And now you can see that I have the word grandma actually cut out of that space on my card. Now if I zoom back out a little bit you'll be able to see the entire card. So now I can just send that to my Cricut, cut it out and then finish embellishing the card. If you have one of the smaller Cricut machines and you can only cut on a 12 by 6 mat, at this point now you can switch back to the 12 by 6 just by coming over to Visual Mat and select 12 by 6 from the drop down. And then what you'll need to do is actually rotate your card so that it's horizontal rather than vertical on your mat. So to do that you can just click on your card until the rotate arrows appear and you can see that it's these little curved double-ended arrows and if you hold down the control key while you're rotating your card it will actually rotate in 15 degree increments so that way you know that you can get an exact 90 degree turn and then you can just reposition that on your 12 by 6 mat so that it's ready to cut out. Well, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and have fun creating your unique word cards.